Hey, what is going on everyone? Today I'll be demonstrating how to natively run Ubuntu Linux on the M1 Mac Mini using Corellium's Project Sandcastle port. At this point, there's no graphics acceleration yet, meaning this build only uses software rendering. Built-in Wi-Fi also currently doesn't work, meaning you'll need an external USB-C Wi-Fi dongle if you want such network support. What you'll need for this Linux port is an M1 Mac Mini updated to macOS Big Sur 11.2, a USB-C to USB-A dongle which is required to boot the external root file system, and an external USB drive that is at least 16GB in size. Download the Ubuntu root file system image from the Corellium website. You can then extract the image by using the Mac's archive utility, which is as simple as double-clicking the BZ2 file. We now have to use Disk Utility to locate the name of the external disk as shown here. In my case, this disk has been identified as Disk2. Open up a terminal window and type in this command, where if equals means the image location, while off equals means the target disk mentioned before. This will erase your data on the target drive. You would then need to boot into the M1's One True Recovery OS by holding down the power button at startup until you see loading startup options on your monitor. When you reach the boot picker, select and boot options. This will take you to the recovery where you will need to open up a terminal window. Finally, we can install the custom Linux kernel by typing in this line of script, then pressing enter twice. If you have multiple macOS installations, the script will ask you which install you want to target for the custom kernel. You would then have to put in your macOS username and password. Once this is done, you can now restart your M1 Mini and boot into Ubuntu. What I found was with Ubuntu on the ARM64 platform, many basic programs managed to run very fast, even with the lack of GPU acceleration. Here's LibreOffice Writer, where I type in a sentence about the original Macintosh. And here is the terminal where I use Uname to show the full Linux version. We also have the Solitaire card game where I somehow managed to find all four aces. And here's me playing a Mahjong game. One look at the activity monitor and we find that all eight cores are being utilized, as is 7.2GB of RAM. One last thing is there is no support for video files at this very moment due to the lack of video codecs in this build, and there isn't any sound either. If you want to revert back to macOS, you can re-enter the Mac recovery and type in bputil-n. This will remove the custom kernel from being selected. Note that you'll have to re-enable system integrity protection manually for iOS applications to work again. So that was a tutorial and demonstration of native Linux on the M1 Mac thanks to Corellium's port. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments. Thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video.